But you've, you've both played in teams where you have players that you know are just not going to want to get involved in the dirty work and you can't expect them to. That's just not his job. Yeah, but Jake, they've got team. to. They've got to. You hate that. You hate the thought of that. Listen, uh, you're talking about your Burkamps and your Omri's and your Vieiras and all these guys. They give you everything in the game, both sides of the game. They put their foot in and they can play. Arsenal can't afford to carry someone like Ozil. Yeah. Today, he wants to have a good look at himself. Yeah, he's not kidding us that. watching the game. It's not real. He felt like he was going through the motions today a lot of the time. And I think there in the goal that they concede shows that. If he has a quick reaction, he can get back into position and help Xhaka, but he doesn't react quick enough. We've said this about him a hundred times. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, Arsene Wenger's got to address it because out of possession, you're a man down. If you've got a man who doesn't fancy running back and busting a gut and doing dirty work, out of possession, you're a man down. So it's got to be addressed. Well, this is, uh, this is Ozil's day. Um, it's left you so frustrated. Yeah, it has because, listen, we've all seen him on his day when he fancies he's doing both sides of the game. He's a world-class talent. You know, in possession, not a problem. Today, he was poor in possession for most of it, but he'd done some nice things as well. Um, I just worry about his reaction and his body language, and, and when the ball's turned over, he, off he offers his teammate zero. Um, you know, and away from home, he he's a liability, if you like. He just doesn't do enough for the team. Wenger has talked about this sort of casual approach and this look mm. he has. It's just his sort of body language. But only he really knows whether he's giving it everything. And I don't believe that he really is. I mean, there's a problem with Sanchez. Of course, he was missed today. He wasn't even there. But this problem is one of a legacy of, of last season when Wenger wouldn't sign his contract. Ozil and Sanchez's problem wasn't addressed. And now it's seeping into this season. And he needs to work harder. You know Wenger better than most, Martin. What's he saying to Meza Ozil? now, tonight, tomorrow, on Monday morning? Because whatever he's saying, it's not had an impact in the last couple of years. <laughs> he wants him to create. He wants him to get on the ball and create chances and do things you know, to win matches. And he'll accept, maybe wrongly so, but he'll accept the fact that he doesn't really want to work hard for the team. For me, if I was playing in that team, I, I would find it very difficult not to... Will Wenger accept that performance today? No, it's not acceptable. I mean, Arsene Wenger hates losing, he said that. But he doesn't... It's a collective thing with Arsene Wenger. He doesn't point the finger at any one individual. But I feel there that today Ozil should be doing more for his team. He needs to have a good look at himself because if he wants to get away from the football club, he's not going to do it in this moment. Wenger will make him sit it out to the rest of the season. So while he's here at Arsenal Football Club, he needs to apply himself in the right way and give an Arsenal-like performance. Does that look like a player that doesn't want to be at Arsenal? Look, you can't just point the finger just at Meza Ozil for that result. But it's clear to see that out of possession, he doesn't want to know. He only wants to be on the ball. He only trying to create. He only wants to make things happen. Now, world-class players do both. They still try and get on the ball. They're still excellent in possession. But when they lose it, they put a shift in for the teammates. And that's clear. The there's a problem for the balance because you have Ramsey who wants to get forward. You have Ozil who wants to create. And you have Xhaka, who is the defensive midfield player, but is beaten far too early. So either you, you put two defensive midfield players and you can do that job, but Arsene Wenger's never going to do that. He doesn't want Coquelin. He's the first person he'll hook off if things are going wrong. He wants the creativity. But at the moment, the balance isn't quite right. The back three are being exposed. There's no sort of specialist central defender that plays in the middle. Monreal playing in the middle is not the answer. They need to find... I would have played Mustafi in the middle today. Put one of the recognised midfield centre-halves centre in the centre of that defence.